welcome to Liberal News. Uh, that was a video of me peeing on um, a picture of Republican Speaker of the House John Boehner. You might be asking yourself, why would a liberal pee on the picture of John Boehner, the Republican Speaker of the House? Well, I'll tell you, because John Boehner is the scum of the earth. John Boehner is my representative in Congress uh, when I turn 18 in September. He is my representative in Congress, unfortunately. Let me just give you a little background information. If, you, if you've been living under a rock, then you don't know what the fiscal cliff is. The fiscal cliff is simply a deadline <clears throat> that the government put in place to self-impose a mass economic crisis that they would then in turn fix. But the, the idea was that they were going to set this date that all of these taxes were going to go up and this spending was going to decrease and they knew that it was going to throw the country's economy into a shithole. So they decided that they were going to set this date but then it was going to be taken care of long before that. They were going to make a deal and everything was going to be golden. <clears throat> well, it didn't happen. Four days from right now, there are four days until we go over the fiscal cliff. And what does that mean? Income your taxes will go up $2,000 automatically as soon as we go over the fiscal cliff, because we're probably going to. So how do we avoid going over the fiscal cliff, you might ask? Well, President Obama has put out many, many plans about what he thinks should happen. President Obama thinks, thinks that the Bush-era tax cuts need to stay in place for the first $250,000 incomes. Everything over $250,000 will be taxed a little bit more. John Boehner and the Republicans think that that's not good. They don't want to raise taxes on anybody, which, you know, okay, I get it, that's okay, but they're not willing to compromise on this one issue that is going to put American people at jeopardy. And it's, it's time that John Boehner realizes that the people that he is supposed to be working for in his districts and his congressional representation, representative area the people that he is supposed to be supporting and working for in Washington are not the people that are making over $250,000. I can't tell you how many people in Clark County don't make over $250,000 a year. Not many of them do. The average income in Clark County, probably between $40,000 and $60,000, which are going to be devastated if John Boehner doesn't put out a plan and start realizing who he's actually working for. Because John Boehner isn't working for his constituents like me. He is working for the people that are giving him millions of dollars to do their bidding in Congress, and we can't deal with it anymore. John Boehner is the scum of the earth, and he is the reason why I... <clears throat> he is the reason why this country is doing so poorly right now. And that's why I hate John Boehner and pissed on a picture of him at the beginning of this video. Because John Boehner is the scum of the earth, and I hope you lose your speakership, Mr. Speaker. But that's not all I want to talk about in this episode of Liberal News. I also want to talk about a Wayne LaPierre. We all heard about the Newtown shooting in Connecticut at Sandy Hook Elementary School. The fact of the matter is, is that Democrats and Republicans and liberals, or not Republicans, but Democrats and liberals and sane-minded people realize that this is a time when we need to impose gun laws that are stricter than what we have now. I understand that the Second Amendment gives you the right to bear arms, but I don't think the framers of the Constitution realized that we were going to have to deal with assault rifles with a hundred drum ammunitions like the guy in Aurora, Colorado used. The gun laws that we have now are so poor that they might as well not even exist. What we are proposing, what the, the D Dianne Feinstein, Senator Feinstein, is proposing is simply a regulation saying that you cannot own an assault rifle. What's the problem with that? Well, Wayne LaPierre, who is the spokesperson of the NRA, the National Rifle Association, thinks that it's unconstitutional to take away someone's guns. He thinks that to prevent school shootings, it's not take away the guns that are allowing people to have school shootings, it's to put more guns in the schools. Put more guns in the schools, Wayne LaPierre? I don't think so. The solution to drunk driving isn't to give someone more alcohol. The solution to school shootings is not to put more guns in the schools. Sure, you might put them in the hands of a good guy, like they did in Columbine, 
They had an armed guard. Two people still, students, shot and killed people at Columbine High School. And until Sandy Hook Elementary, it was the most deadly high school shooting that we've had. It still might be, in terms of injuries. But Wayne LaPierre doesn't get it. Wayne LaPierre says no laws regulating guns, regulating high round munition clips, high, or assault rifles. Not a single m more law to help prevent these kinds of tragedies. Not a single law. Not a background check. Not, hey, you can't get 100 rounds of ammunition. He doesn't care because he is working, just like John Boehner, for the billionaires who are giving him money to do their bidding. And I think I've had about enough of it because you cannot put the safety of our children and our people before your own pocket. And Wayne LaPierre, you might, I, I should have pissed on a picture of Wayne LaPierre at the beginning of this episode, but I chose John Boehner because I fucking hate John Boehner.